To save yourself the most amount of time, you probably want to sit down and work on the same type of post at the same time and then schedule all of them ahead of time. And the way we schedule inside of Facebook, if you're going to schedule natively inside Facebook, and anytime I say natively, it means you're going to actually log into Facebook to do it as opposed to using a third party social media scheduler like later Hootsuite or SmarterQ. So I'm on my Facebook page and this is where you could create a post live and you can see it actually has an option to create post in Business Suite. So we know it's pushing us all to go to Business Suite, but to give you a second place to look for it, it's this icon and it says Business Suite. It's like another tool specifically in Facebook. And if you wanna download the app, you wanna download the Facebook Business Suite that has this logo. So I'm now logged into the Facebook Business Suite and it has it in the top left. And on the sidebar, I'm going to scroll down to Post and Stories. And at first, it's going to show me all of my scheduled posts. And then if I want, I can click on Scheduled and I'll see a list of any scheduled posts. And there's also Drafts. So if you can't find something you worked on, check your Drafts. So here I'm in Scheduled. On the top right, you're gonna look for a blue create post button. Because I had clicked on scheduled, it knows I am probably going to schedule a post, so I get this pop-up. If you don't, don't worry, there's another place to do it. And you're gonna start out by picking the day that you want it to be scheduled and hit save. And then you work on the post and, it'll, and the default for it will be to schedule at that date and time. Then on the left hand side, we're going to input our text. We are probably going to add a photo or a video. Those generally perform better than text by itself. If you've connected your Instagram, you can also just click this box and it will publish it to both Facebook and Instagram for you. If you're going to add a location, you can actually just type it in. I only do this when it's relevant. If I'm, if if it's really actually relevant to the post or if I'm checking in somewhere. Um, so personally, I haven't used this feature a whole lot inside the scheduling part, but you can actually see in the third right-hand column, a preview of what it will look like. So it'll show you your page name is at, and then wherever you've, you've set the location to. So I've checked my post on the right, it looks fine. And so now I can just click schedule post, or if I needed to, I can publish now or change the time or save the draft. And then you just again hit the, the bigger blue button. If you started from a different page, again, that was fine. You would just hit create post. And we didn't have the pop-up for the time. So after, instead of clicking publish, we just click the down arrow and I see the option for schedule post, which allows me to set the date and time. After that, you can then click the big button that says schedule post. And now when you look at your post and stories, you click on scheduled and it should show up there. If you ever need to, we can just click on this post. This is showing the preview of what it looks like. And we can click on these three dots in the top right hand corner. The three dots is a menu. And we can edit this at any time. We can duplicate it, reschedule it to a different day or time move it to the drafts or delete it.